सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज फोर्थ वन ग्रोथ सर हियर द फोर्थ कैरेक्टर ऑफ द लिविंग वर्ल्ड और लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इज ग्रोथ सो ग्रोथ इज अ फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स सी हियर जनरली इंक्रीज इन मास और साइज इंक्रीज इन नंबर इज कंसिडर्ड एज ग्रोथ एक्चुअली द ग्रोथ एक्सिबिटेड बाय द बोथ लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स बट वेर आइज द ग्रोथ एक्सिबिटेड बाय द लिविंग थिंग्स दट इंक्रीज इन द साइज और मॉस एंड इंक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ द सेल्स इज द एक्चुअल ग्रोथ वेर आइज सम ऑफ द नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो शोइंग ग्रोथ in which only the addition of materials from the outside shows growth so that is not real growth generally the growth comes from inside growth comes from inside that is the real growth so because we are not adding any material to grow our, ourselves we are taking food and our body is growing from inside we are not adding we are not putting any material to our body for the growth but here if you see the non living things non living things also shows growth for example if you take a table and add one more table and add one more table it also shows you growth but this growth is not a real growth this is simply called as external growth so growth should not be an external growth must be internal so and growth definition is increase in size or mass and increasing in number is called as growth so here as some of the non living things are exhibiting the growth that is why growth is not an exact character of the living things as per some experts growth is not only single character of the living organisms because of some of the non living things are also showing growth so this is called as fourth character let's see fifth one so here fifth one is energy utilization energy utilization energy processing next one is metabolism next one is metabolism see here what is a metabolism what is a metabolism the sum total of chemical reactions which are occurring in an individual's body constitutes metabolism metabolism means the total chemical reactions which are going on inside the individual's body is called as metabolism see here for the performance of for example metabolism means digestion respiration excretion these are all a part of metabolism see here each and every metabolism needs energy so here the basic source of the energy comes from the sunlight okay so here the major source of the energy or the basic source of the energy is sunlight so this sunlight utilized by the plants by the photosynthesis process these plants their own food substances and this fixed food in the plants utilized by the plants and it is also transformed to the other organisms so here energy is transformed from one organism to the another organism so this is the energy utilization and processing then after transformation okay see here the chemical reactions which are going on in our body are two types our metabolism occurs in our body in two ways are two types for example if you take there are two types of reactions are going on one is anabolic processes or anabolic reactions second one is catabolic reactions sir for example if you take anabolic reactions see this is a process involves with the conservation of energy or storage of energy that is called as anabolic processes or anabolic reaction see in the anabolic reaction what happens energy is stored energy is conserved for example if you take best example for the anabolic reaction is digestion 
see here what happens in the digestion at the end of the digestion process we get some energy substances so here in the anabolic reactions energy is stored energy is conserved so that is called as anabolic reaction so then if you go to the catabolic process or catabolic reaction it involves with the expenditure of the energy catabolism is a reaction in which energy is utilized or spent so it involves with the expenditure of energy so energy is spent energy is utilized so for example best example for the catabolic reaction is respiration so what happens in the respiration in the respiration already stored food materials are the materials of digestion undergoes oxidation process they undergoes oxidation process and energy is produced and utilized so catabolic process means energy is utilized or energy is spent so here anabolism catabolism collectively called as metabolism collectively called as metabolism so anabolism and catabolism collectively constitutes metabolism